hi Alphabet Adventures! Hi! It's good to see you today. You just caught me and AZ in the middle of doing a really difficult puzzle. But now that you're here, you reminded me. AZ, did you bring us any letters today? Oh yeah, I did! Oh, well then let me check inside your bag and see which letter of the alphabet you brought for us today. Oh, this is perfect! Do you know what letter this is? This is the letter P, which is the first letter in the word puzzle. And it's the first letter in the word pig. We are making a puzzle of the story of the three little pigs. I don't get it. What do you get? Where are the other pigs? Where are the other pigs? You see, there's only three pigs in the story of the three little pigs. Uh-uh. What do you mean, nah? You know the story, right? Do you? Well, it's, it's the three little pigs. There's only three. That's not what Ivy said. It's not what Ivy said. She just told me the story. And there were more. There were more than three pigs? Yes. Well, I know Ivy, and I bet she would be willing to tell us all the story of the three little pigs. She's a great four-year-old and a great storyteller. Let's go listen to Ivy tell us the story of the three or more pigs now on ABC Play With Me. ABC Play With Me. Brought to you by the Howard Whittemore Memorial Library. Uppercase P. Lowercase P. The letter P. Once upon a time, there was a sweetie little pigs. They, well, they all lived in a one big brick house. They decided, hey, said, said, said one little piggy being Ace. You know, those are to build new by you. What about we go to the festival? Good idea, said Valentino. So the next little piggy, he said, let's go. But that is a good idea, said Exendel. And a good idea, said Valentina. And a good idea, said Cap. Wait a second, how many pigs were there? There was Valentino and Valentino. There was Ace and Ace. There was Jell and Dab and Cow and Cow. But said Valentino, you were, the piggies had a big secret that everyone knew. There was a big bad wolf that lived by. Don't worry, I know just a reason. How about we put the big bad wolf in a trap? Oh. So they did. And they ran out to the festival. Hmm. The festival was fun. It took all day to go to the festival. And then when they were tired, they were too tired to get back home. So they called the wagon person. They drove them all in the wagon. And when they got home, they were fast asleep. The end. Well, Easy, I had never heard that version of the story before. I really liked it. Mm. You're right. In that version of the story, there are definitely more than three pigs. Thank you, Ivy, for sharing your very playful tale. And did you know that? Playful and pig start with P. Playful and pig start with P. That's the sound made by letter P. P. What, Ivy? You said you had never heard that version before. So, what version of the story do you know? Oh, well, that's a good question, AZ. Would you like to hear my version? The traditional version of the Three Little Pigs now? Yeah! Oh, good. Well, here we go. The Three Little Pigs. Once upon a time, three little pigs decided to build houses for themselves. The first little pig made his house out of straw. The second little pig 
built his house out of sticks. And the third little pig, he built his house out of bricks. The three pigs lived quite happily in their homes for a while. Then one day, a big bad wolf happened down their road. That big bad wolf lifted his big bad nose in the air and sniffed. Mmm, he growled. Piggies, perfect. I'm feeling a bit peckish and could go for a piggy snack. So the wolf approached the door of the straw house and knocked. When no one answered, he called, Little pig, little pig, let me in. The first pig who had been peeking out his window squealed, Not by the hairs of my chinny chin chin! Well, that big bad wolf did not like to hear anything that meant no. So he threatened, Then I'll huff! <gasps> And I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down. And that's precisely what he did. Luckily, this sent straw flying all over the place in the air, which gave the first little pig time to run to the second little pig's house. And by the time the wolf could see through all that straw that had fallen, he knew that he'd missed out on that snack. No problem, the big bad wolf growled. I'll just eat them both at once. That big bad wolf knocked on the door of the stick house calling, little pigs, little pigs, let me in. Those poor little pigs were hiding behind the front door. Trying to sound brave, they called back, no, 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 not by the hairs of our chinny chin chins. The big bad wolf was a bit perturbed. He called back. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. And that's precisely what he did. Those sticks fell like dominoes. But fortunately, they did so slowly enough that the two pigs were able to escape out the back door and race to the third pig's house without the wolf noticing. At first, the wolf was a bit perplexed to find no pork among the sticks. When he realized that his snack had run from him again, he was piqued. Hurrying to the brick house, the big bad wolf pounded on the front door, roaring, Little pigs, little pigs, let me in! But the third little pig wasn't scared. He looked at the other two pigs, who were huddled, panicked under his kitchen table, and rolled his eyes. Then he called back firmly, Not by the hairs of our chinny chin chins! Then bellowed the big bad wolf. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. But the house did not fall down. Embarrassed, the big bad wolf tried again. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. But the house was still standing. It was quite sturdy. The big bad wolf took a huge, deep breath, filled with frustration, and cried, I said I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll... The big bad wolf blew such a big breath that he created a windstorm which swirled around that unmoving house and picked up the wolf. That wind blew him to a land 
far, far away. It is said that the big bad wolf never bothered anyone again and instead snacked on peanut butter sandwiches for the rest of his big bad life. As for the three little pigs, they lived together in that brick house pleasantly ever after. The end. P is for puzzle and for pig. Like, oh my gosh, the letter P is totally tubular because P is for pig jokes. What do you get if you cross like a dinosaur with a pig? Jurassic Park, huh? <laughs> Why are pigs awful basketball players? They hog the ball. Oh, cheese rama Marissa made me tell that joke. Oh. <laughs> what do pigs do after school? Hamwork. <laughs> what happened when, like, the pig pen broke? They had to use the pig pencil, for sure. <laughs> what do you get when you, like, pick a pig's nose? Hamburgers. Ugh, grody. Grody to the max. Ugh. <laughs> P is for pig. Like... This little piggy went to market, and this little piggy stayed home. Like this little piggy had roast beef, and this little piggy had none. And this little piggy cried wee 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 all the way home. Most people don't realize that there is a lost verse to that rhyme. But I found it. It features words that start with P. Listen for the P sound. You might hear it in words like princess, prince, pickle. This little piggy was a princess. She wanted the prince for a groom. This little piggy wore frills and pink. This piggy sprayed on pickle perfume. And the Prince Piggy cried, pew, 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 all the way home. Phew, now that i finished my puzzle, I feel at peace. Without ladder P, puzzle would be uzzle, puzzle would be uzzle, puzzle would be uzzle with out ladder P, puzzle would be uzzle, we really need that. P. Thank you for helping me collect the letter P from AZ today. This is the alphabet. Each week, we add a new letter from AZ and make it colorful. The letters we haven't gotten to yet are gray. Let's add the letter P now. Sing with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now we've got the letter P. Next Wednesday, more ABC play with me. Have a perfect week, Alphabet Adventures. Thanks for watching. Come back next Wednesday. Bye.